The one saving grace of this film for me was Bryce Dallas Howard. She was genuinely quite good in the film, I felt. Sam Rockwell, Brian Cranston, everybody else, they were fine, functional, whatever. The action scenes for the first two thirds of the film were fine. Nothing stupendously entertaining or memorable, but they were okay, they were watchable. But it feels like every action scene in this film has to have a song in the background. They're trying to desperately recapture that magic of the church scene from Kingsman. But let's just get right to it with this film. And you're going to hear this in every single review reaction for Argyle. So please forgive the repetition. But there are so many damn plot twists in this film. It is kind of stupid. I think this film actually sets a record for the most amount of significant plot twists in the shortest amount of film time. I swear there's about three or four significant plot twists in the span of about 20 minutes. It's actually kind of hilarious. But what's not hilarious is that the major plot twist is quite possibly the most mind-bogglingly, blatantly obvious plot twist I have ever seen in a film in my entire life. There is actually a scene at the beginning of this film, it's like the second or third scene, where a character just says something out loud and you're like, well, that's going to be a plot twist because that character just said that to another character. And sure enough, halfway through the film, the plot twist happens and I was like, there it is. I am just absolutely baffled as to how that was written and filmed and nobody thought that it wasn't the most obvious thing in the entire world. Seriously, they, they just don't even hide it and they actually try and, you know, pull it off as a major plot twist, but it just falls so goddamn flat on its face. It's... <laughs> Putting the plot twist aside, the actual story of this film Generic spy spiel we've heard a billion times over. There's a super secret, sinister, shadowy organization that's manipulating world events and they're all corrupt and whatnot. What's the name of this super secret shadowy organization? The Division. Yeah, because we've not heard that name for that kind of organization in a spy film a thousand times before. It's, oh my God. Then you come to the finale of the film and there are two action scenes back to back that are two of the most ridiculously stupid action scenes I've ever seen in a film in my entire life. The first one, two characters are dancing whilst killing dudes, surrounded by CGI smoke. And then the second one tops that by having a character skating around a bunch of CGI oil while slicing dudes up. It reminded me of Kingsman 2, where Matthew Vaughn just took the action way too far, and it was so overly stylized to the point where it was just nonsense and it just looked like a live action cartoon. I walked out of the film really, really hoping that Matthew Vaughn finally moves away from the spy genre because it's been 14 years since he's done a film that wasn't a spy film. But then I found out afterwards there was actually a mid credit scene in this film and Matthew Vaughn wants to do a spy shared universe with Kingsman, Argyle and a third franchise he hasn't even started yet. Argyle's going to be a trilogy by the way. So yeah, Argyle is in the same universe as Kingsman, which isn't a spoiler because he revealed that before this film came out, which explains why this film just looks visually like Kingsman and feels like Kingsman light in pretty much every way. So it looks like Matthew Vaughn is gonna do nothing but spy films for the rest of his life. And if this film is indicative of what those spy films are going to be, I, I'm out, I'm, I'm not interested. 